Hey there folks, welcome to Sumit Academy. In this, my ninth video on terrorism, we shall study about the institutional framework for tackling terrorism in India. This is the first of a two-part video on tackling terrorism. Before 2008, terrorism was fought mainly by the Intelligence Bureau with the help of the state police and the central armed police forces. The IB played the role of an intelligence agency which coordinated the efforts of various police forces. The operations and investigation part was the responsibility of the state police. After the assassination of Mrs. Indira Gandhi, a special commando force, NSG or National Security Guard, was created to engage and neutralize the terrorist threats in specific situations. NSG commandos were trained in high-risk tasks like counter hijacking and counter terrorist operations. A number of new agencies were then created after 26th November. Now let's have a look at them. The first one was the National Investigation Agency or the NIA. This is a central agency to combat terror with concurrent jurisdiction which empowers the center to probe terror attacks in any part of the country, including challenges to the country's sovereignty and integrity, bomb blasts, hijacking of aircraft and ships, and attacks on nuclear installations. It also deals with detection and prevention of spread of counterfeit currency, human trafficking, narcotics and drugs, organized crime by extortion mobs and gangs, and violations of the Atomic Energy Act and the Weapons of Mass Destruction Act. Next came the intelligence, the National Intelligence Grid or NAT Grid. NAT Grid is an ambitious counter-terrorism program which will study and analyze the huge amounts of data from various intelligence and enforcement agencies to help track suspected terrorists and prevent terrorist attacks. A post-Mumbai 26-11 attack measure, NAT Grid aims to mitigate a vital deficiency, lack of real-time information which was considered to be one of the major hurdles in detecting U.S. terror suspect David Headley's movement across the country during his multiple visits between 2006 and 2009. NatGrid's data sources include rec records related to immigration entry and exit, banking and financial transactions, and telecommunications. The agencies concerned including the Intelligence Bureau, local police and revenue and customs departments. It connects data providing organizations and users besides developing a legal structure through which information can be accessed by the law enforcement agencies. In the first phase, 10 user agencies and 21 service providers were connected, while in later phases, about 950 additional organizations are being connected. In the subsequent years, over 1,000 additional organizations will be connected together on NatGrid. Then we come to the MAC and the SMAC. Now, this stands for the Multi Agency Center. The Multi Agency Center's mandate is to share terrorism related intelligence inputs on a day to day basis with various security agencies on a continuous and real time basis. 
reciprocally other agencies are also obliged to share intelligence with mac the smac or the subsidiary macs have also been created in various states the fourth one was the creation of four new nsg hubs the limitation of inadequate security forces was addressed by opening nsg hubs at four places mumbai kolkata chennai and hyderabad in addition to manesar in order to ensure faster and more effective reaction to crisis situations the fifth one was that the coastal security scheme was revamped the lack of maritime security gained much attention after the mumbai attacks a series of measures have since been taken to upgrade and strengthen coastal security now what are these measures let's have a look at them first the task of guarding the coastline right from the shoreline has been entrusted to the coast guard however the responsibility of overall maritime security rests with the indian navy second coastal states have been directed to expedite the implementation of the coastal security scheme such as early completion of construction of coastal police stations check posts outposts etc third coastal states have been directed to start patrolling by locally hired fishing boats and trawlers fourth coastal states have been directed to carry out vulnerability or a gap analysis on their coasts in consultation with the coast guard fifth ministry of shipping has been directed to streamline the process of registration of all types of vessels fishing as well as non fishing and the final one was that issuing identity cards to all fishermen and all the population of the coastal villages well that's all from me in this the ninth video on terrorism the subject of tackling terrorism will continue in the next video do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss out on my future videos i hope you have been able to catch all the videos on my youtube channel do write in with your suggestions to sumitacademy20@gmail.com cheers